Hello, this is Andy from the Engineers Academy, and in this video series, we're going to be looking at work solutions to the Unit 1 Engineering Principles exam that will be sat by students studying a BTEC Level 3 National in Engineering. Now, the document that we're referring to in particular today are the sample assessment materials for the Unit 1 Engineering Principles exam, and this document is Issue 2 that is or has previously been available on the Edexcel website. Question 17 states that an electric motor is supplied with 20 volts and has a power rating of 0.75 kilowatts. The DC motor is operating at full power. Now the first part of question 17 asks us to calculate the current drawn by the motor and it asks us to give your answer in an appropriate unit or state the units of your answer. So first of all we know the voltage is 20 volts and we know the power is 0.75 kilowatts. Now it's important to note that to get from kilowatts to watts we need to times by a thousand. Therefore 0.75 kilowatts is the same as 750 watts. Now the equation that we're going to use here is P equals VI where power equals voltage times current or we also sometimes see that expressed as P equals IV. Now the thing that we're trying to find is the current. So what I need to do to each side of that equation is divide by V. And what I'll be left with is I equals P divided by V. Now providing we input P in SI units of watts and we also input the voltage in SI units of volts, then we'll get an answer in SI units of amps. So here we have 750 for the power divided by 20 which gives us 37.5 and I know that the units there are amps because I've used SI units for both my power and my voltage. Now part B of the question asks us to state one cause of energy losses in an electric motor other than friction. Now if we think about what makes up an electric motor, we have the stator, which is basically just a magnet. But more often than not, that's actually going to be an electromagnet. So what we'll have is we'll have windings around the two magnets there. Now when we pass current through those windings, we're going to generate our magnetic field and in doing so we'll end up with magnetic flux lines that run between those two poles. But if we look at this arrangement here we can see that there's a number of potential sources of losses. One source of losses will be electrical resistance or resistance due to these coils of wire. Now any wire will have some resistance but because we have a number of windings we end up with quite a long length of that wire so we end up with electrical resistance. So we could state that as one of our answers. Now we also know that if we were to supply this electromagnet with an alternating current, those north and south poles would switch. But in doing so, what we would have to do is we would have to magnetise and demagnetise the core of each of those electromagnets. And that would lead to something called hysteresis, where a certain amount of energy is required to de-energise the north pole and turn it into a south pole, and a certain amount of energy would be required to de-energise the south pole and convert it into a north pole. And when we have an AC electric motor, another significant cause of losses would be hysteresis. But for the purpose of this question, I'm going to stick with my answer there of electrical resistance. But just be aware that there are alternative answers that you could have there. 